Hi. Welcome to Horticulture 101 Gothic Gardening with Darkside University. This is about my eighth take because YouTube keeps knocking me offline right when I finish the video. So let's hope that this is the one. Um, I am your professor, Eliza Inkberry. I live in South Carolina. Um, I'm an urban farmer. I have a fourth an acre in our downtown area that gets featured on our urban farm tour. We get thousands of visitors. It's pretty fun. We have chickens and bees and all kinds of edibles of, you know, just uh, annuals, perennials, weird stuff, not weird stuff. Um, I am a permaculturist. I run our local permaculture society. We have almost, oh, we have more than 400 members now. And um, we meet multiple times a month and do projects and do education. Um, permaculture stands for permanent culture or permanent agriculture. Um, and it's a design system that you use to create sustainable ecosystems for humans to live in. Uh, and there's so much to it. It's a really hard thing. It's like notoriously hard to explain to people, but uh, I'll probably be incorporating it a lot in my classes because uh, I think it actually has kind of a goth element to it. I mean, you recycle everything, including death. So, uh, you know, I, I think of myself as kind of a mad scientist. I like to be out in the yard examining things, and, um, you know, I love mushrooms and bugs and um, weird plants, definitely weird plants. I've collected them for a very long time. And, um, oh, I was really excited that last night I got to talk to some of you that are going to be in the class. And it sounds like you have so many different um, places that you're coming from. And I can't wait to learn more about that because I'm really going to need to know where you're located and what you're interested in if I'm going to be able to help you design the you know thing that you want in your yard. So make sure to chime in on the discussions and stuff about that if you want some personal advice on those things. Um, I definitely like uh, discussion. I like to hear alternate viewpoints to my own, and that was already happening last night before we were even talking gardening. And, um, and I, I was really interested in kind of hearing, you know, because I've always been taught certain things and then you have uh, botanical science just changes really rapidly. Um, I hate learning botanical names because they change so much that they're outdated in like two or three years. They're kind of like the closest thing to computer science that goes out of date. You know, if you buy a manual from five years ago or a software from five years ago with computers, it's gone. You know, it's not useful anymore. And botanists love to change the names of things and love to reclassify things. Um, so uh, lots of cool students really excited about that. Um, uh, I am a master gardener and naturalist. Uh, I like the naturalist side of that better, partly because um, I feel like with the master gardeners you get a lot of white-haired old ladies who have a god on and they just tell him what to do. And uh, you know, I have a lot of friends in the master gardener community, but um, I'm a more practical-minded gardener. I do a lot of edibles. Um, I'm going to really encourage you to mix your edibles and your ornamentals because I think that's a great thing to do, um, and I can talk about why. Um, and I, I did want to say that like, half of this class is going to be um, design, and the other half is going to be plants. And the design part is going to be whether you want uh, goth or Victorian or steampunk or a night garden that has a really nice fragrance and it reflects the moonlight, um, containers or a big garden or, you know, whether you're a beginner or not or a dabbler, you know, we're going to talk about all of those things. Um, and then with the plant side of it, I'm totally going to look for the weirdest things I possibly can for you guys. Um, but again, I need to know where you are because some things grow in some zones and some grow in others and, and we might have to find more than one. But I'm going to try to profile at least six plants per lesson. Um, let's see, what else? I consult, I write for magazines. Um, Let's see. I teach classes on a very regular basis. Uh, I've known Carrie for a really long time, uh, since actually 1996, I think, which means it's been 18 years. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, if you want to know some stories about Carrie, I totally know some. Uh, Carrie Carolyn. And, uh, yeah, okay, so I probably shouldn't tell those, but instead I will try to focus on gothic gardening, but maybe if you ask really sweetly, um, I'll, I'll dish the dirt on Carrie instead of just dishing the dirt on gardening. Anyway, so I hope that this one is the one that takes, and I will see you in chat. <laughs> 